Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech. Again, this is Kevin. Today I'm going to discuss um, using your addictive keys in Ableton. So I'm using a MacBook Pro with an M1 chip. I have made a video before on a quick demo or how to create tracks using addictive keys. So for today, I'm going to show you how to use um, addictive keys in Ableton. So in order to do that, you have to go to Plugin. So again, just go to Plugin, insert a MIDI track, and then drag your addictive keys. So in order to call up the addictive keys window, you just click this spanner. So you click your addictive keys MIDI track, click the spanner, then there you are on the addictive keys window so here for the gallery you would find the different um, types of uh, piano available for addictive keys so for mine i only have the studio grand then if you want to purchase the modern upright you can see uh, the installation for addictive keys in the video link in the description below and also the uh, how I made tracks using addictive keys so if you want to view that just click those links and then um, you have the electric grand but for myself I have the studio grand so for studio grand you can select the different uh, types of presets that is available for this plugin so you have um, to, to studio grand with H strings so it would sound like this if you, if you change the ambient did you hear the difference this one has a lot more reverb when you compare it to this one let's try Mr. Bright So for myself, I would just use Studio Grand. So the thing is, um, for addictive keys, if you have this, you can uh, adjust the presets that is available for Studio Grand. You can even choose uh, different types of um, how to make it sound differently according to your preference so it will change once you select these did you hear the difference then these are the location of the microphone for pickup on the sound so you can adjust the timbre effects tone if you want to make it soft hard so you just adjust this accordingly and then um, if you would uh, see this this is the location of your microphone pickups so if you choose for example ribbon 4038 your microphones are here so it will pick up the sound coming from the piano on this area of the piano you can adjust this to different locations you would see it would change in color yeah but for myself I would go to close ribbon wide let's see how this this thing would sound like so you hear the difference so now it's more echoey if you put the microphones there so each microphone you can even adjust the noise if you want you can put wait You can put tremolo. You 
can change the sound wave. But I don't like to use this. Then you can adjust your equalizer too. So if you can drag this or bring it down, move it up, or move it to the left, then move it up. So it's up to you. It depends on your preference and you can even add chorus. You can reduce the depth. So for me, I will just keep this switched off. And then for the piano itself, you can adjust the sustain. You just need to press click, then move it left or right. So for me, I don't adjust these things. I just leave it like that. You can adjust your pitch, filter, and volume. Yeah. And then, um, because it's difficult to adjust if you are not hearing the sound, right? You can, um, hold on, you can go here, then you can record your piano, uh, your, the way you play your piano, then it this sub plugin will capture the sound or the music that you're going to play. And then from there, you can adjust that MIDI with uh, by adjusting the different uh, settings here, uh, depending on your liking. So for example, if I'm going to um, record a MIDI clip, stop that then you have a new clip here this MIDI clip you can drag it onto your MIDI track so if you go to session view let's let's bring this down a bit so what you need to do so your recording is here you just need to drag the drag this MIDI clip onto your um, MIDI track in session view click yes then you play again you will hear so this clip you can just copy so command C Paste, Command V. So show you is that if you use this to record your MIDI clip even the all the settings and all the for example if whenever you step on the pedal the MIDI clip will be capturing that so that the sound would uh, uh, be the same as how you played it um, so that's a good thing about creating a MIDI track using this recorder so from here just close this and then you just play the MIDI clip then if you want to make adjustments you can just do it here 
see how the sound differs. Depending on where you put your pickup. So there's so many things that you can do here. Yeah. So it's up to you. Then you can even further adjust it from this portion of the plugin. to change the you change it from the room size change it to hall you can increase the master volume yeah there's so many things that you can do here you can apply equalizers the difference of creating a MIDI track using your Ableton. So the difference is that if you would create a MIDI track with just Ableton and not the um, memo that you have here, the memo option here you have with the activities, then you will not hear the application of the pedal. So for example, we try, I would record a MIDI track So let's check that. If you would open your addictive keys, then just play it. That's it for today. I think uh, I have nothing else to discuss here unless we go on a deep dive discussion on each effects. But um, if you like this video, please click like. And then if you would like to subscribe to my other, to my channel, so that you would see my past videos and future videos, please click subscribe. Thank you so much again. Have a good day. Bye.